What is good YouTube? Casual Yugi stuff here, bringing you another video. Today we're going to be doing a very, very special, and I'm very excited for, tin opening battle challenge against Yu-Gi-Oh Lovers OCG. <clears throat> here he is, my friend. He's, uh, he's already opened his, um, his tin, his Montage Dragon tin. And here is the shout out. Check out his video. It was uh, pretty damn awesome to watch him crack open those five old school mix of 5Ds and um, GX packs. So yeah, here is his shout out. Find him on Instagram and of course on YouTube and do check out his video because he went first in the pack battle. Or should I say tin battle. And I will be opening this Red Dragon Archfiend tin. Indeed, here it is, Red Dragon Archfiend. I'll tell you a little bit about this tin. So this tin itself, as you can see, is um, not sealed. It has no factory seal on it. But um, I managed to purchase it on YouTube. Did I say YouTube? I meant um, eBay. And um, for a really very, very good price, guys. £21. So that's about like $25. Um, yeah. And basically, I showcased it in my mail day video. That um, indeed, we, we got this for our first ever mail day. I think it was the first ever thing a mail day video that I put out there I opened it so um, yeah I, I showcased it in our in our mail day so without further ado there's no uh, cling film to open so let's just pop it open and have a look at the contents inside so first off if you're a Red Dragon Archfiend fan and Jack Atlas like I am Jack Atlas fan um, we have the Red Dragon Archfiend as opposed to Yu-Gi-Oh Lovers Montage Dragon used by Trudge in the anime so here it is Beautiful Red Dragon Archfiend. Has some foil bleed on it as well. Such a stunning card. One of the Sina Dragons. Absolutely love it. Great condition. Considering this tin is about 10 years old, isn't it? So, yeah, very happy with that. Anyway, we'll got, I've got some sleeves here, so we'll just sleeve him up. And without further ado, get to opening these beautiful, beautiful packs inside let's have a look so we have one light of destruction as opposed to Yu-Gi-Oh Lovers 2 we have two Phantom Darkness and the bad boys themselves two first edition the Duelist Genesis pack guys I am shaking to open these because themselves they're worth about you know at least $15 each which is like yeah 12 pounds each so obviously more than what I paid for it. So look at that. Look at those cards. Look at those packs. Let's hope we can get some good pulls. As you've said before, I'm going to keep these uh, tokens sealed. I see the point of really opening them. So um, so yeah, guys, without further ado, let's just put that back there. Put Red Dragon Archfiend in the corner. <clears throat> let's open these packs. So we'll start off with Light of Destruction. My favorite GX pack. Uh, fun fact for you guys. Yeah, um, I managed to pack back to back. You probably won't believe me. Back to back, back to back, honests. Um, when I was a kid, both secret rare. Unfortunately, not ghost rare. But here goes. I'm gonna try and keep the pack in as good condition as I can on the front, anyway. <laughs> so here's pack number one. A bit of damage here on the card, but we'll move on. Okay. Limit reverse. Quick charger. Cup of Ace. Good common card. Battery man. Microcell. Glorious Illusion, Rainbow Gravity, Realm of Light, Sanguine Swamp and Arcana Force, The Emperor. Nothing in our first pack, guys. That's absolutely fine. We're not expecting to get anything uh, extraordinary out of these packs, just because, you know, the um, the chances of actually getting something good are very low. So, so yeah. Um, here goes, pack number two, Phantom Darkness. Okay, didn't open very well, but we'll see what we get anyway. If we can get a Ghost Rare um, Rainbow Neos, that would be incredible. And, mm, don't think there's anything in here either, but we'll see. Fire Trooper, Earth Effigy, Double Tag Team, Obsidian Dragon, and Giga Plant. I think that's a good common for plant decks. Sinister Seed, Gladiator Proving Ground. Cannon Soldier MK2 Mirage Tube. Nothing in this Phantom Darkness pack. Uh, I'll put our, our rares to the side, actually. Just out here. 
because if we end up both getting or oops, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to spoil anything for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh lovers video. But if we end up, if I end up getting all rares, you know, that's just the way way it is sometimes. So anyway, ooh, Phantom Darkness, second pack, third pack overall, second Phantom Darkness. Let's try and open it this way. Okay, I'd open nicely. I'd open very nicely. Let's see what we can get. Okay, we might have a hollow in here. I don't want to jinx myself, but if you just take a look at the bend in here, that's a big ass bend. Excuse my uh, French. Anyway, so Rainbow Path, Gladiator Beast Andal, Instant Neo Space, Obsidian Dragon End, Zoma the Spirit. Uh, super rare, a one of these trap monster cards. Uh, I think this is in Duel Links, or there's loads of trap monster cards in Duel Links. All out attacks, an Atlantean Pick Pikeman, Gemini Lancer, Dimension Explosion. So, guys, that's great. We've got a hollow. Let's sleeve this bad boy up and put him with our collection behind there. All right, guys, this is where things get serious. The Duelist Genesis. I can't believe I'm opening this, but here goes. First edition, the Duelist Genesis. Wow. Try and keep this in good condition. And not destroy the, the pack. Let's get a whiff as well of this pack. Ah, oh, takes you back, doesn't it? <laughs> Alright, here goes. Let's pull these bad boys out and see what we get from first edition, the Duelist Genesis pack. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, the line. Ooh, it could be something in here. Fingers crossed, I say. Oh, fingers crossed, guys. Come on, here goes. Turbo Booster. Um, Yusei's friend gives it to him. Rally, I believe. Kunoichi. Genis, a light sworn mender. Psy Station. Yeah, nothing. Desynchro, unfortunately. Oh, Intercept, nice, super rare, great, another trap card, that's great, really nice, I forgot, of course, you get a rare ender hollow, dark, the dark charmer, ch ch charmer, sorry, junk barrage, twin shield defender, it is a holographic card, guys, from first edition of West Genesis, so, I can't complain, I really can't, I'm happy with that, it's absolutely extraordinary. Sleeve him up in our penny sleeve and put him there. So two trap cards. <sighs> Guys, the last of the Duelist Genesis pack. First edition. I don't know any other Duelist Genesis first edition pack, so this is it. Although I do own a, uh, a box, unlimited box, which I will be um, cracking open on the channel um, a bit later on. But yeah, I'm sure you'll see that. Yeah, this pack isn't looking so good. There's no slit down the middle. Yeah, this is definitely a rare. Jude Fighter, but I don't want to never say never. Doctor Cranium, Turbo Booster, Needlebug Nest, Big Piece Golem, Small Piece Golem. Can we get a Medium Piece Golem? Gono Gogo, Synchro Defector, and Oyster Maestro. Guys, that is the end of the video. Remember, go check out Yu Gi Oh Lovers OCG uh, on Instagram and Yu Gi Oh Lovers on YouTube, and uh, check out his, um, obviously, his opening of his tin. His montage dragon tin, and yeah, guys, we did good. We got uh, two out of five, um, two out of five holographic cards, and of course, we got our big piece golem as well from the Duel of Genesis first edition. And I'm just generally happy to get a first edition super rare from uh, the Duel of Genesis pack. Being a bit hopeful, getting that Stardust Dragon Ghost rare, but what can you do, guys? I'm happy. This has been Casual Yugi stuff. Um, if you enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up. And comment below if you enjoyed, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.